Hello and welcome back, my name is Excalibur and this is Slay the Spire. Currently on Act 2, we breeze through Act 1 in easy mode. Or at least it felt like easy mode. And so I'm guessing the challenge is going to escalate quite drastically on this floor. It seems a little bit longer than the floor below, but that might just be from my perspective. And there's a variety of different routes to choose from. There are campfires on a couple of different locations. This far right route is particularly brutal with no rest until the very end. Let's see. Anyway, we can wrangle multiple chests. Doesn't seem like it. This is a very easy route with multiple campfires, which is good for if you want to upgrade cards constantly, but I'm more interested in the combat side of things at the moment, seeing what we can and can't do. And testing out our cards on how fast we can brutalize the enemies to death. I think this route here seems like the most interesting one to me. Yeah, we'll go here. One uh, for you. Spheric Guardian. So it has defensive, which it's going to block this turn. It's got 37 armor. So it's going to stack up more armor. And it's going to negate three debuffs. So that's interesting. So the next three debuffs we put on it do absolutely nothing. Because of our item up here, the Sozu, we can't use potions. So let's see. Can only discard them. Yep, can't throw them or anything. But we do have an extra energy for every single turn we have. Since it's not going to attack us, I'll go with a combination of Strike and Bludgeon. And just wipe out its armor to get started. Enter. Gain 25 and lost 3 from my Nebo. So we want to use this. And then when he's seeing red, even though we gain only, oh, we get gain extra, but it doesn't matter. That should be a huge amount of damage from our clashes. Let's see what to add. Another clothesline, rampage. Hmm. Flex is rather good. Yeah, I'll take flex for the time being because I can use that. Anytime I've got a handful of clashes, so it should stack really well. Not sure what exact route I want to take here. Do I want to go to a merchant, then campfire, or... No, let's go to the elite. We'll take the interesting, questionable route. As you attempt to sneak past a group of shrouded figures, a naked, red-skinned man approaches you. Got any J.A.X., friend? I got the shakes bad, please, maybe some coin? He seems delusional but harmless. So we can give him 85 gold for a relic. No idea what a JAX is, or I could ignore him. In real life, it should never help an addict, but since he's just a cartoon character. Centennial Puzzle. The first time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. That's quite a loss of cards. Let's discard these potions and no interest in carrying them around with us. Another question mark. Venturing through a series of tombs, you are faced with a large sarcophagus studded with gems in the centre of a circular room. You cannot make out the writing on the coffin, however you do notice black fog seeping out from the sides. So... We can open a coffin, 50% chance of receiving... Well, sorry, 100% chance of receiving a relic, 50% chance of becoming cursed. Innate. No, I'll leave this. You continue along your way, leaving the forgotten dead undisturbed. I didn't want to get that card because if that gets stuck in my hand, it's going to be a nightmare with my clash setup. Let's see, so five times. We're going to use this, let's see. Right, so let's use those two. Pop Warcry. 
stick that back in the pile. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it'll deal damage to that guy. And into. Alright, so. Wow, well. Good thing I did do that block. Right, so. Flight. Reduce attack damage taken by 50%. Cancelled if dealt attack damage three times in one turn. That's a lot of times. So, that thing got rid of its own flight by beating me up and hitting itself three times from my bronze skills. Buff. Right, we have a lot of potential energy to use here. So we're going to gain armor again to reduce the damage from some of these attacks. Let's see. So I'll use one of those and then I'll pop this and use blood for blood. And it should potentially kill itself quite soon. So it's back over the flight debuffer. Nope, didn't flight buff, should I say? Jesus, this is a rather strong hand. Ooh, let's see, so... How much carnage can I deal out before I run out of mana? First of all, flex for increased damage. Now, thunderclap. I don't think for not even gonna last a second, so whatever. Flash, flash. Yeah, we're done. Next. Block potion. Neato. See, disarm. Enemy loses two strength and then exhaust. Lose three health for two energy. Headbutt deal nine damage. Place a card from your discard pile on top of your drop. I'll take that, please. Let's go with the enemy. One more combat. Ooh, this looks painful. Let's see. Strategic aid. This enemy intends to inflict a negative effect on you and attack for eight damage on top. And this guy's just gonna hit me in the face. Well, this is a very singularly aimed set. We might as well try and remove her before she causes any further issue. 21 health, should be able to get rid of her in another one or two turns. Because this guy's just gonna hit me and take some damage and she should do the same. Yeah, so that's not too bad. Frail, 25% less block for the next couple of turns. Let's see, so we're definitely going to use flex to start with. Then we'll defend. Defend again, so Clash is now viable. Now we've got multiple choices, let's see. Apply Vulnerable to both of them. 16 damage now. So Cleave will kill her off and deal a chunk of damage to him, and he'll take 24, and then turn. So this game is 90% about the order in which you play your cards. So, uh, don't really even need to do anything yet. Can I just play these? Or no, yeah. War cry. Actually, let's see. Let's make this interesting. So you start to use War cry so much. Throw you out for the time being. Chuck you back. Actually, let's use head buzz. Oh, that's pretty fantastic. So then I can draw that if wanted. Double tap and double clash. <laughs> but there's nothing left to actually hit. Anger plus seems like a very, very good choice. So I'll go with that. I forgot to even read out what it actually did. Where are we? Anger plus. Deal six damage. Place a copy of this card in your discard pile. So every time I use it, another copy of it, as in I use one of this, two of this is now in my discard pile, and so I can draw two of them when my discard pile goes over to that side. Thus doubling up your potential to receive this each time. Ooh, this looks absolutely disgusting. So it's going to attack me for six damage twice. Right. It's the best way to do a 16 damage or 6 and 6. So I might as well use Anger Plus. 
and then use blood for blood. And then just let these ones roll over. So anger pluses now two of them in there, yep. Oof, we are going to take a lot of damage. If we are not careful. Let's see, so we've got defend, so it's going to attack three times next turn. That's going to be nasty. This is mostly going to be about order. Wait, so that's five, six, six. Supply weakens. Seems, let's see, so a big clash. So I want to go close and start with that. Go for seeing red. Use headbutt. And then I want to get... Let's see. Take blood for blood back. And go strike. Ooh, careful. Double tap. Then clash. This is going to be a very close battle, I think. Actually, surviving through this might be problematic. Got blood for blood, which is a free usage now. We'll use our defensive bonus first. Uh, let's see, we've got three. Let's actually go with bash first because I'll apply vulnerable, which means I'll be able to deal huge amounts of damage to it for the next couple of turns. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to use Basil Trance and see what I can gain from it. So let's see if I use Defend. Can I use Clash? Oh wait, I need to use Walk Cry first, sorry. So, place Bludgeon back, confirm. Then, 21, and it's almost dead. And, just hits me one time. If I hadn't already softened this up, it would have been preparing for its finishing blow that turn. What's this? Darkstone Periot. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max health by six. That's interesting. Let's see, weak potion. I'll just take it for the sake of it, but I don't need it. I can't use it. Perfected Strike deals 6 damage, deals an additional plus 2 damage for all your all of your cards containing Strike. Wait, all of your cards? All of my cards? Wait, so everything in my deck that's referred to as a Strike will increase the damage. So I've got 5 there. So I've got 5 more in there, so plus 2 times 5, so I'll add on 10, so it'll be 16 damage for 2. Eh, uh, it's okay. Not as good as it seemed. Anger is a good choice. So, Dropkick is an interesting combo card against Vulnerables. Anger, though, is just a brilliant combo card, so I'll go with that for the time being. I actually need to rest here, so I'll just do that. I'm not even going to bother thinking about smithing anything. And let's roll on into more enemies. One-eyed snake. Ahem. Called Sneko. Sneko the Gecko? It's not even a snake, is it? It's got two legs. I guess it's a Sneko the Gecko. But let's see, strategic, so it's going to inflict me with a powerful negative effect. No idea what that might entail, so... so uh, that makes no difference either way, so I might as well just strike it twice. It's the same thing as using double tap and center. Confusion. Whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost. Oh, thank you very much. So it definitely going to start with bash because that's ridiculously good value. Ooh, what combination should I use? So I've already got vulnerable on so I could apply more vulnerable, but I don't see any point. 
I'll use Battle Trance and see what we can get reduced. Let's see, Clash Cost free there. Headbutt for free, we'll use that. We'll gain double tap back. Throw a clothesline at it. Oh, actually, let's see, Strike or Thunderclap again. Now, clothesline, and I'll also gain defensive buff against its attack and coming at 11. And we're almost halfway through this battle already. Oh, this is an absolutely disgusting combination of cards. So let's see, we'll flex first before anything else, even if it costs one, it's still worth it. Got seeing red to regain there. Do you have a one cost one? So now we'll double tap and in fact we'll just blow it up with bludgeon. Later, snack over the gecko. Disarm. Enemy loses two strength and exhaust it. Uh, let's see. Feel no pain. Whenever a card is exhausted, gain four block. Hmm. Burning Pact. Exhaust one card. Draw two cards. So, pretty much all utility cards. Hmm. 